Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the precautions in interpreting the findings from the research work. So, interpretation is a complex task. So, in order to interpret the findings from a research work, so we must need a broader idea on our research work and we have we must have done the uh, the collection and analyzation of data in a proper way. If suppose you are um, uh, drawing the wrong uh, wrong inferences, okay, so which will lead to misinterpretation of the inferences and that leads to the erroneous findings. So in order to avoid the uh, misinterpretation of the infer inter the inferences so we we must uh, know some some of the conditions here to ensure that the we have to ensure that the data is appropriate trustworthy and adequate the data should be collected using sound methodological procedures and that the sample size should be large enough to be representative of the population of interest so as we know in the research process there are number of steps so starting from the uh, selecting a research problem and uh, the reviewing literature, uh, selecting a research design and uh, collecting data and analyzing the data and performing the experiments on the data. So in all the, in each and every step must be done in a perfect manner. Okay. So uh, the every step must be done in a perfect manner. So if there is any anything done wrong in a particular step, then it will lead to the misinterpretation of the research findings that will lead to a wrong solution for the research problem. And they must generalize the, they have to select a sample size which is large enough so that they, they, may, they will get the accurate results. Researchers should also be cautious about the errors that can possibly arise in the process of interpretation. Some of the errors include overgeneralization, drawing causal inferences from correlational data and ignoring confounding variables. So these are the precautions in the uh, of drawing the in interferences from the data. First one is the overgeneralization. So this occurs when researchers generalize their findings to a larger population than is justified by the data. Okay, so we are going to draw a sample from the population and we are performing all the experiments on that sample. Okay, if suppose the researcher is over generalization their findings to a larger population, then it may uh, lead to some errors. Drawing causal in inferences from correlational data. So correlational data means a variable can affect other variable. So here one variable causes the other variable to change. Okay, for suppose height and weight of a person. So if a, if a person is uh, very taller then his weight will also be more. Similarly, the temperature and rainfall. So, if the temperature denotes the amount of rainfall of the particular area. Right. So, these are the correlational data. So, here the, a variable is uh, a variable is dependent on other variable, and it is uh, allowing the other variable to change. So, we need to uh, draw the inferences from the correlational data very carefully and ignoring confounding variables. Confounding variables are variables that are related to both the independent and dependent variables in a study. If confounding variables are not controlled for, they can lead to inaccurate interpretations of the findings. For example, uh, let us say 
we are conducting a study to examine the relationship between coffee drinking and heart disease we find that coffee drinkers have a higher risk of heart disease than non coffee drinkers however we don't know if the coffee is actually causing heart disease or not or if there is uh, another variable that is confounding the results for example it is possible that coffee drinkers are also more likely to smoke cigarettes which is a known risk factor for heart disease in this case smoking would be a confounding variable so this is about the precautions in the interpretation thanks for watching my video